Deuteronomy 20 lays out instructions for Israel concerning going to battle. Yeah, not exactly what you would expect instructions for in the Bible, right? But Israel was given a land, the land of Canaan. The Lord God gave them the land, but those pagans who occupied it would never concede. They would never concede their land, nor would they give up their pagan, false, dangerous beliefs. So Israel, well, they would have to fight for it. Those in Canaan would receive very little mercy and face God's judgment by the hands and swords of Israel. But also, Israel would pass through various lands before they get to Canaan and the Lord would give them more gracious approach. Here in chapter 20, the Lord gives order, direction, and encouragement in how Israel would engage these two groups of people. And what I really love and what I want to draw your attention to, it's found in verses 3 and 4. Now, if you could recall a powerful scene from a movie called Braveheart, let me help you to remember it. The Scottish warrior, William Wallace, he's stirring and motivating the Scottish clans that are gathered before him. They stand with shields and swords about to face the English King Longshanks and his powerful army of cavalry. William Wallace, with painted face, challenges the Scottish clans to stand up, to stand strong, and charge hard for freedom. Kind of gives me the chills when I recall it. Well, well, verses 3 and 4 of Deuteronomy, they stir me up as well. Before Israel went into battle and faced whatever scary foes, the priest, or who were Israel's chaplains, let's say, could not fight with them, but they would go and encourage them and challenge them before the battle. He would go out, the priest would go out to the people, and this is what he would tell them. Hear, O Israel! Today, you are on the verge of battle with your enemies. Do not let your heart faint. Do not be afraid. Do not tremble or be terrified because of them. For the Lord, your God, is he who goes with you to fight for you and against your enemies to save you. This is the reason for courage. Unlike William Wallace, who would motivate the people to stand, fight, and charge out of their own strength, Israel, Israel would depend upon the Lord. When Israel was obedient and trusting in God, they could never lose. But when they were disobedient or not trusting, they could never win. Church, when you face your battles in the days to come, turn to our high priest Jesus and listen to his word through the apostle Paul and our chaplain Paul, who wrote, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, for it is his strength and his might that will give us victory. You are greatly loved, so go and greatly love.